Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm pumped about today's video because I'm teaching you something that I'm super passionate about and that's photography. So if you're wanting to learn or get into photography, this video is for you. By the end of this video, you'll learn basic knowledge on photography to get started, to get out of your bubble and into the field and start shooting. So let's get into it. I'm pumped. Plus I have my leather jacket, so I'm pumped about that too. <laughs> Listen up, I'm teaching you three things that I've learned over my photography journey that have helped me get started with this whole photography thing. It's kind of like Johnny Q's beginner rules for photography. Maybe that could be a thing. Number one, automatic mode will kill your pictures. Okay, not really, but if you're in automatic mode and that's all you shoot in, the last thing that you wanna do as a beginner and learner photographer is to be in automatic mode. Yes, automatic mode can help you in certain areas like everything about the photo, but it's not going to really give you the creative freedom to do what you wanna do in the camera for your image. Go get your camera, go into the dial button, go from automatic to man. It's gonna teach you about the triangle of photography, which is ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. In manual mode, it'll help you navigate all those three things and it'll help you get a better photo. It will expand your creative photography mind into different things. I beg and I urge you, please get out of automatic mode, get into manual. It's gonna help you so much more. Okay, second thing you need to know about getting started in photography is this, composition. Well, composition is key. Okay, for example, right here is the prime example of what I mean. This is not composed properly or well. So if you're taking a photo of your subject and you want more of this in the background, I would suggest doing this. Center him or her right here versus here so that you're getting this. Place them here so that way you're composing your subject in a way where you can see what's in the background, but also you're following rule of thirds. Rule of thirds is also something we'll go into into deeper videos, but Let's not get into that right now. Like I understand as a new photographer, as someone who's just starting out, you're gonna take your camera and you're just gonna start shooting, you're gonna start getting pictures of everything and anything, right? I totally get that, I've been there, I've done that. But the sooner you can get into the habit of composing your pictures properly, it's going to help you in the long run so much more. By those standards, let's put our best foot forward and start the right way in photography. All right, number three, and that's lighting, okay? You're going to face it, it's going to happen no matter what because light is like everything in photography. This specific shot right here is lit way different than it was in the last two frames. It wasn't the best lighting, but I was encountering lighting in a whole different way. Probably because there were more trees, I was more kind of like in a tunnel, but here I'm out in the open. So wherever you are, you have to encounter lighting. I, there's so many things that I could say and ideas that I have for you, but I guess this is what you you could be doing to get better pictures in different lighting. I have a Canon camera and in Canon cameras, I know I think Sony has the same, but there are light meters. And within those light meters, you're either overexposed or underexposed. There's a little line in the middle or a little meter section in the middle that tells you when you're properly exposed. I would adjust all three like ISO, shutter speed and aperture to mix all those three things up so that you make sure you're properly centered and properly exposed. Pro tip here, if you're outside shooting uh, and it's too bright out, I would highly recommend putting an ISO to 100. ISO basically gives you digital exposure or digital brightness, but you're already outside, it's gonna be bright enough. Set that ISO to 100 and you should be good. If you're just starting, it's not like you're gonna get like amazing photos right off the bat. You really have to just work at it, get different angles, do different things in different lighting and just work around the lighting. So yeah, lighting's important. You just gotta go out there and shoot and try it out. There you guys are. And that, that's it guys, kind of the three basic things that I have learned as a photographer. So if you have an interest in photography or you wanna get started but don't know how, I hope these three things help you and that's get out of automatic, go into manual, composition is everything, and lighting. I hope these three things help you in your photography journey. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace. Gotta get the camera back.